welcome to Babble About Books. My name is Tavia and today you're tuning in to my monthly TBR game, Spiraling Out of Books. So basically the game is a board game I created to get through all of my books that I own, which is up in the 80s before I can buy more books. And so basically I roll a die and a number on the, the number on the die corresponds to a specific genre. I've got 12 and then I have to pick a tie a book out of that genre that I roll and so I toss the titles that I own in this little fishbowl and I pull out the book and that is the book I have to read for that genre in that month. This is my second time doing it. I did one back in December. I will link that video down below if you wanted to see what I read in December. I'll kind of go over them in this video as well. And because it is a board game, I do have penalties. So if I don't read a book, I have a punishment and I don't get to move those spaces further. So if I roll a 12, which is other, which just has like anthologies, biographies, poetry, that stuff in it, and I don't read that book in that month, then I don't get to move those 12 spaces further, taking me longer to get to a book haul, which is the end which is the end goal of the board game. And then I also have to pull from the penalty jar, which has read the longest book I own, which is It by Stephen King currently, and other things like that. But I'm not gonna count DNFs just because I'm not gonna force myself to read a book that I don't want to, that I don't like. And then, um, yeah, so DNFs don't count. Um, my goal is to get at least halfway through the book before I DNF it just because then I have more of a grasp on the book because sometimes the beginnings can be really bad but the endings are great so about 50% of the way is when I'm trying to DNF the book. So last month I rolled a 6 for romance and I got Naomi and Eli's No Kiss List by Rachel Cohen and David Leviathan. I am DNFing this book and like I said before it's not going to count towards a punishment just because I'm not going to force myself to read it. And then I rolled a 7 for nonfiction, and for that I pulled Life on a Medieval Barony by William Stearns Davis. I am currently about 20 pages in and I am going to do rollover so if I've started it in this in the month before I can finish it in the next month. I'm filming this video about halfway through the month, so I'm going to be able to finish this. So that is what I rolled for. This is what I pulled for nonfiction, and I will be finishing it, or it will roll over into January. And then I rolled a five for horror, and for that I pulled Survive the Night by Daniel Vega. I have finished this. And then lastly, I rolled a three, which is YA Fantasy, and for that one I pulled Children of Blood and Bone, which I have also finished. So out of the four books, I've read two of them, I'm in the middle of one, and I have DNF'd the other. So I would say this was a successful month getting into reading, and I'm going to be really honest, I read these first two books, I read the two books in the first ten days of the month, so I have a feeling January is going to be a really good month for me as well. So yeah, this is was my December TBR. I won't be taking any punishments and I will be moving the 21 spaces that I rolled last month. Okay, last month we ended on space 21 and now we're going to do the first roll. Which is a 6, which is another romance. Got a six. Which puts us up to 27. So I've got three books in here. So let's see which book I will be reading in January for the first roll, which was Romance. Ooh, yay. I actually wanted it for this month, but I didn't get it. It's 25 days till Christmas. Okay, so for the first roll, I rolled a six, which was romance, and for that I pulled 25 Days Till Christmas by Poppy Alexander. All I know about this book is it's this girl who is trying to fall in love after a heartbreak again, and maybe this Christmas she'll find her true love. I'm excited. I wanted to read this in December because Christmas, but that's okay. January is close enough, so this is what I pulled for romance. And then we've got a got a twelve, which is other. Okay, and then I rolled a twelve, which 
is other category, which is poetry, anthologies, you know, stuff like that. So let's see. Let's see what I'll be reading for other. Seabiscuit. I don't know who the author is. And then I rolled a 12, which is other, which includes poetry, anthologies, autobiographies, biographies. And for that one, I pulled Sea Biscuit, an American legend by Laura Hillebrand. All I know is it's about racehorses. And yeah, so this is what I am reading for other. And we've got a two, which is adult fantasy. Okay, and then I rolled adult fantasy. So let's see which one I'll be reading for adult fantasy. Okay, for adult fantasy, I'm going to be reading The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. And then I rolled a two for adult fantasy, and for that one I pulled The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy by Douglas Adams. I've seen the movie to this, so I know what it's about. I'm excited to see if I enjoy the book as much as I enjoy the movie, but basically it's just... Like the title said, it's the guide to hitchhiking through the galaxy and there's humans and aliens and presidents and all the fun stuff like that. So that is what I pulled for my adult fantasy. And then we've got a three. And here comes my kitty cat. YA fantasy, which is great that I rolled it two months in a row because it is one that I own the most. And I think I own like 15 YA fantasies. Let's get this next up and see what I'm reading for YA fantasy this month. Okay, Between the Devil and the Deep Blue Sea. I don't know who it's by. I hope these are showing up on there. If not, I apologize, but. And then I rolled a three, which was YA Fantasy, which is great because YA Fantasy is the one I own the most of. And for that one, I pulled Between the Devil and the Deep Blue Sea by April Genevieve Tukluki. I apologize, I know I'm pronouncing that last name wrong. And so I know nothing about this book at all. I've owned it for years. At one point I got like 20 pages in but I like going into books really not knowing what's going on. So yeah, this is what I will be reading for my YA fantasy role. In January, I'll be participating in two readathons. The first one is by Books and Lala, which is her buzzword-a-thon, which is a year-long one. You, she has words or themes, uh, and you're supposed to read the book within the first week of the month. And for January, the word is dream. Um, I don't know if I already mentioned it. Buzzword-a-thon is her readathon. And so for the first... Um, for January, it's Dream, and for that, I own the audiobook Strange the Dreamer, so I'm going to be listening to that. I don't know how I feel about audiobooks, so I'm excited to see if I can get into audiobooks just like I can get into regular books. So for that one, I will be reading Strange the Dreamer. The second readathon I will be participating in this in January is Winter Ween, which is from the 4th to the 10th, which is the first full week in January. It's hosted by Gabby Reads and Olivia Reads a Latte. There's five categories that are in it, and they are, how many notes here? Um, the first one is it has to have Haunt in the title. The second one is the cover has to have Blue. The third, you have to read it a book in the dark. Fourth, a winter setting. And then five, you have to read a novella or a short story. They're also doing a buddy read of Haunting of Bryn Wilder. So because I can't buy any books and I don't currently own that book, I'm going to try and get that from the library. So I will be follow, hopefully, fingers crossed, I can get it. Um, I will be reading that along with them and that will cover the first one, which is Haunt in the title. And then for the novella short story, I'm going to be reading The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. It's less than 200 pages and 
I also am going to try and read this one in the dark completely because it's set in outer space. So what better than reading in the dark than a book that's set in outer space? And then for a book that has blue on the cover, I am going to um, fit Between the Devil and the Deep Blue Sea. Not only are the words, the bottom words in blue, but the hardback is this navy blue as well. So that'll fit in that category. And then a book in the winter setting, I'm going to be reading 25 Days Till Christmas because it's set in the winter. Um, so I am combining the novella and reading in the dark. Maybe I'll listen to Strange the Dreamer in the dark as well. Um, so I'm reading one book for each category. But those are all the books I will be reading in January. And this is what they are along with the Strange the Dreamer. And so yeah, that is my January TBR. If you liked this video, hit that like button and subscribe, and I will see you next Wednesday. Bye!